Hi guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart and today I thought we could do a little, um, not quite unboxing because I have already looked at this, but maybe more of a haul. Anyways, I had recently ordered a new cover for my Hobonichi Weeks from Chic Sparrow and this is the Morgan leather and it's a newer leather. I think it came out just last week and I have to say I am so so impressed and really love it and I thought we could look at it um, I could share some thoughts and then basically move my Hobonichi into here and see how everything fits so this shouldn't take too long um, I don't really keep a lot of stuff with my Hobonichi so here is the leather and I have to say I know the light is like trying to figure out what to do I have to say, I am very, very impressed and happy with it. Um, and here's the inside. I think the inside, honestly, to me, looks more interesting than the outside. I wish that like this kind of pattern was more on the outside with more contrast, but I'm not. I'm not upset about it. So this leather despite how like rugged it looks it is very flexible and thin which is like not what I was expecting um I really like that though and it's smooth but it has kind of like a slight pebble to it so it's definitely not like as rough as say the scout is um but I still I really like this a lot um, I think this is the removable pen loop. That must have been the only option because I'm not a huge fan of the removable pen loop. Um, and I don't remember choosing anything for that. So they say that this leather doesn't scratch or wear very easily. I don't really want to test that. <laughs> not on the actual notebook. But yeah, I am very, very happy with this. So my old cover is a tea house oh goodness is it chai it might be chai I have had my weeks in this cover for probably close to a year um, I really like the way it's patinaed over the time that I've had it I'll take this out because I didn't have pockets <clears throat> excuse me because I didn't have pockets on my other one um, I just kind of like paper clipped things in there that I wanted to hold on to. So my Hobonichi Weeks is this like botanical one. I had got the other one, um, the other botanical one for 2020 as well. And I really just like having these botanical illustrations. So like I said, I don't really keep a whole lot in here. Um, just like random coupons and my pencil board and yeah but this thing has patinaed quite well and I think it makes it very interesting it's darkened up too I believe it was more at one time more this light color as you can see like I guess the notebook just kind of blocked out all the sun and anything that would like oxidize it so yeah it's definitely patinaed quite well. So that one will be going into this dust cover when I'm done. So typically when I do my weeks, I will just slide it in. Oh wow, this feels much bigger. Okay. Huh. I'm not sure if I like that. This is definitely, is this bigger? No? Why does this feel bigger? I mean, it is just a tiny bit bigger, but it feels like giant. Okay, well, huh. Oh, it must be because of the way this is cut, how it comes down, and this one doesn't. This is their new um, Cascade style ones. So, I'm gonna put that coupon in there. I guess the extra room does make the pencil roll or the pencil board go in there a lot easier. I don't 
don't know if I'm gonna keep these other things in there and I may just hold on to this paper clip just in case I need one so like I said I'm not like super uh I've heard a lot of things about this pen loop. Um, like I was saying, I'm not, I don't keep a lot of things in here, um, but hopefully with the pockets that will change, I'll be able to keep more, um, you know, coupons or whatever, maybe decorate it. I never know what to do for decorations, so I just kind of like don't do it. <laughs> but I really like looking at people who have this whole side panel decorated and stuff. Um, so maybe just quickly I'll talk about what I keep in my hobo weeks. I can't really show a lot because it's got a lot of, um, it's got people's names and stuff in there. Basically I use this to keep track of YouTube and Twitch and then also any projects that I'm working on and, um, pen pal things. So all of like my personal projects, personal, um, you know, social media stuff. I keep track of that in here. Um, so yeah, <laughs> not to trying not to be so, you know, super secretive. It's really not that interesting, but I thought I just wanted to give you guys a peek at this cover and it smells really good. It smells like leather, so it doesn't have any weird odors like, um, some of the other leathers have had. So yeah, that's it. Like I said, short and sweet. So um, if you have any questions about this leather, just let me know and I will do my best to answer it. Um, and if you have any recommendations about like how to decorate or what you do to decorate the inside with the pockets, I would love to hear them because I kind of want to do that, but I have no idea where to start. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.